Yo, what is up everybody? It is Maverickland here and today we're doing a how to counter all shield ops guide. We're gonna go clash, montang, and then bullet. So let's get straight into it. So clash is gonna be just a little bit difficult to deal with. Her shield like kind of wraps around her body, not like from the back obviously. But she also can shock you, make you sprint slower like so. And she has a timer for it. So once her timer runs out, you're basically just going to want to press her. Just keep knifing. Some might try and pull out their gun, shoot you, but that's an easy free kill. And every time you hit the shield, as you've just seen, her body is going to make her shield, like, go away. She's going to lift it up. Easy kill on her. Now, if you ever have a clash trying to sit in a corner and not move and they just keep shocking you and you have grenades... Cook her grenade, throw it right above her, and it'll bounce off the corner of the wall. Right behind her. This is going to take away all of her health completely. Now, this is just a little clip of me trying to smack her again. And as you can see, it's really not that hard to counter a clash. You just keep pushing up on her. Easy kill. Now, for this next tip, if you ever have a clash trying to guard or block a doorway or just in front of you with the shield out, cook a little grenade up. Throw it right as it's about to explode, and it'll deal all of her damage and blow her up from the behind. Easy kill. Clashes really are not that hard to go against. Now, this is going to be a counter op to Clash. It's going to be Capiteo. He has the flame ability on his crossbow. If you have a Clash trying to like guard the fuser, like this example, in the corner, shoot down some fire. It'll make her push out of that corner real quick, and she'll either burn up and die, or you can easily push up and kill her. Another counter op for Clash for an example is Thatcher because he has EMPs. Osa also has EMPs as a secondary gadget. Other operators do as well. And basically, as you can see in this example, the EMP shuts off the electric ability on her shield and makes it go into a cooldown so you can easily sprint up and just kill it like so. Very easy. Now for our next and final Clash clip, this is going to be another counter op to her called Nomad. As most of you know, Nomad has air jabs, and what the air jabs do is blow operators back. And even if Clash has her shield out, let's say she's in a corner guarding diffuser, walks past, tries to push you, she'll get blown back and you'll be able to shoot her. Now let's get right into Montang. Now Monty, I'd say, is a little bit more annoying than Clash. His shield also kind of loops around him, as you can see. You can't shoot through any of the cracks to get a little peek on him. But to his left, if he's in a corner, you can kind of see his foot out. So, as you can see, whenever you hit a shield, it kind of goes back just like Clash, but not as much. I would not recommend trying this if he was normally walking up to you with a shield out, because the shield's barely going to go anywhere, and he's going to be able to kill you pretty fast. Now, a pretty good op to Monty, especially Blitz, so Blitz won't be able to Blitz rush in the site, is Cap Can. You can just place them on the door. Make sure they're not in an obvious spot. You want to usually put them on the side of the door where the enemy coming in isn't going to be looking. As you can see, the Cap Can traps didn't really do too much damage to him. It probably did around 50 of his health. But a C4, if he goes into a corner, will. If you throw it right behind him, if you throw it in front of him and he's at 100 HP, a C4 will not kill him. Make sure to try and throw it right behind him like so. Easy kill on Montang. Now, in this example, as you can see, whenever Montang is like straight up with his shield out, you can't really hit it out of his way. A good counter to him pushing up to you are impacts. This last impact killed him because it went behind his shield, but in a real game, two impacts would not kill him on in front of his shield. He was a great amount of his health, but wouldn't kill him. A great counter op to Montang is Legion, and this also goes for Blitz, but listen to him hit that. Once you know that he has hit your Legion mine, he's going to have to go pick it out somewhere, so don't make yourself known. He's going to go for that pick out, and you can hear it, and you can get an easy free kill on him. Now, this is me basically screwing around with Montang, and if you're a three-speed operator, you can easily run behind Montang if he's out in the open. You can catch him off guard, run behind that shield, easy kill. Now, let's get right into Blitz, as you guys can see. Now, Blitz, I'd say is the most annoying slash most difficult shield off to go against because he can flash you like so. He can sprint with the shield in front of him, but if you know how to counter this, he's easy. If he's full on sprinting at you, don't be scared. Run at him and knife his shield like so. And he's not going to be able to hit you or shoot. And just like Clash, easy kill if you just go up and hit him. Even if he's full sprinting in front of you. Get that first knife off and it's going to be 
A good other counter is if you have a shotgun, it'll also work with any other gun, but it really works with shotgun. You can kind of drop shot him and just shoot his feet, even if he's running at you. And as you can see, he's running at me, flashed me, drop shot, shoot his feet, one shot, easy kill with him. Now, if you have a C4, this is also a really easy counter to blitz because he'll be rushing at you super fast. He won't be really thinking about a C4. Easy kill on him. It'll do all of his damage, even if his shield is in front of him and he's up close to it. Now, I'd say the best counter op to blitz is definitely Warden because if you have his glasses on, blitz cannot flash you with the shield, as you can see. And even if he flashes you, you can just put on the glasses and it kind of cancels out the flash effect. Now, I'd say an even bigger tip than a C4 are impacts. I like using impacts more on Blitz because he tries to just push you, and as soon as you throw that impact, they blow up. And two of them, I have to kill him. Very nice and easy to kill him with them. Blitz really isn't that scary or hard to kill once you know how to counter him. Now, everybody, this is the end of this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if this helped you at all, showed you any new tips. I appreciate every single one of you guys that supports the channel and takes the time to watch my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. Make sure to give me some more video ideas in the comments below what you guys would like me to do slash make videos on. See you all in the next video. Peace.